Hi Aquarius, welcome to your August No Contact Love Reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Aquarius, we're going to take a look at your person, see what's going on with them, why there may be no contact between the two of you, no communication, why aren't they reaching out. We'll see what their energy is, what their circumstances are, what they're going through, and what's going on with them and see what their situation is. So this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. It's a general collective reading. So please only take the energy as it resonates for you. Not all of it here may or may not resonate for you, so please do keep that in mind. And I will mention the signs as I see them, but only take them if they resonate for you. They could be signs in your chart, their chart, or just the energy. So please do keep that in mind also. So welcome Aquarius. Hope everyone's doing well. Staying safe and healthy at this time. So we're going to get one oracle from each deck here. And then we'll clarify the energy with the tarot. And see what is going on with your person. Why aren't they reaching out? Why aren't they communicating? Maybe they ghosted you. Maybe they're just not... I don't know. We'll see what's going on. It could be anything. For Aquarius. Everything you need to know Aquarius is down in the description box. The decks I'm using, my social media links, your playlists are down there, love and general. I do consider them timeless, so if you'd like to check them out, feel free. That's, okay, I'll take that one. All right, let's see what is going on. So we have Tiger, Fire. I choose to be unstoppable. My passion is my power. I am bold. I am brave. Mighty forces come to my aid. So they could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagra, Aries, but they don't have to be. But somebody who is very uh, fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy. <sighs> there may be somebody who is just very um, bold and, you know, maybe they just go after what they want and then that's it. So let's see. And we have Prayer Feather. So I may look a little bit in the book for this. These are two new decks for me, and I did go through the books, but it's a lot of cards here to remember, so I just want to take a quick, uh, quick, a quick peek. <laughs> so when you get try to combine two words at once. Uh, love is flowing to you and through you, no matter what an individual is saying or doing. Love him or her anyway. Hmm. Gather your inner forces silently and secretly. Love deeply and fully with every ounce of your being, even if someone isn't fulfilling your expectation. It's easy to love people when they're acting wonderfully. The true challenge is to love them when, they're, when they aren't. So maybe, you know, this person is just, you know, they could be someone who's in and out for the fire and the passion. And maybe when you're together, it seems very loving, it's fiery, it's passionate. And then they go away. So you see the dark and the light there. So it's like, you know, keeping, it's almost you're praying, you know, okay, is this person going to come back? So let's see here. So we have Share the Love. So this is the Three of Cups. So they're actually, you know, they could be a third party for some. Doesn't necessarily have to be. I mean, sometimes it can be. Uh, not always for me as a reader. You know, the Three of Swords more. Uh, the Three of Cups can be just about, you know, reuniting, coming back together, celebrating, rejoicing kind of energy. So we'll see what we get here in the Tarot clarify this energy and if they if you are just dating this person and you know that you know if they're if it's just a dating scenario then you know they're dating other people then it's not necessarily a third party so maybe you're hoping they're going to choose you especially if they're dating other people kind of praying you know yeah here's my divine clarity from source just kind of flew out for some of you i feel like you're hoping that they're going to choose you you're waiting like for that communication some, this person is very, uh, I feel like they just go after what they want. They're very, um, I don't want to say forceful, but they're just very confident and bold. That's way too many. All right, so what's going on with Aquarius? This person, please. If you're new to my channel, Aquarius, or you're familiar with my channel and you have not yet subscribed, um, please feel free. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, you know, comment, hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. Share, like, be greatly, greatly appreciated. And for those who are returning or are subscribed or considering subscribing, I do have membership on the channel now. So if you do decide to subscribe and would like to become a member, it's $1.99 a month. So if you've been, you know, wanting to contribute in some way or donate or 
um, support me in the channel. It's just a small amount, $1.99. You get custom emojis and badges. And you get a promo code for my Teespring shop to get 17% off. If you're not familiar with my merchandise, you can go below the description box. All my merchandise is there. And then I'll give all new members a shout out in my videos. So I'll give you some public recognition for becoming a member. And if you do, thank you and welcome to the family. All right, so let's see. Let's get your cards here. Let's see what's going on. So we have the Ace of Swords, Page of Swords, Three of Cups. Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, the, there's a lot of people here. The Ten of Wands, the King of Wands. So the Queen of Swords right in the middle, that could be you. That's usually Libra, but it could be any air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Six of Pentacles, King of Wands, uh, Leo. That could be you, but technically it is Libra, but or any sign. And then we have um, Cancer. So far, on the bottom we have the Fool, that's you, Aquarius. You may feel like you're a fool for falling for this person when you know. We got the Three of Cups again, so that's twice. So they're obviously dating other people. And you could be kind of spying on them with the Page of Swords, kind of know what they're up to. Um, here, I mean, you do want a, ses a successful new beginning with them. But, uh, yeah, I think they're, they're openly dating other people, and I think you know that, but I think maybe you're kind of just watching what they're doing also. Um, spying on them or checking out their social media or maybe, you know, probably waiting from honest, for honest communication from them for a successful new beginning to take the leap of faith. There's definitely love here with the Queen of Cups. But then we have the Queen of Swords, so it's like you want love or nothing, you know. Um, so you do have the Ten of Wands here, so I feel like I don't think they're quite ready for uh, a, a relationship yet because I think they feel it's too burdensome. Because we do have the Nine of Cups. I think they're enjoying being single. This is about self-fulfillment, happiness, and joy. So they're enjoying their singlehood. They're going out with friends, partying, just dating. You know, Six of Pentacles can be about balance, but also breadcrumbing. You know, there's many hands here, so they're dating other people. So, yeah, King of Wands, just a fiery, passionate go-getter. That's that fire energy, you know, just being in their power and just enjoying life, being single and doing what they want and dating and having fun, I feel. And I think you're hoping that they will take a leap of faith towards you and offer you this uh, steady growth here. Um uh, this pentacle, the stable offer. No, you been, might have been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. But we do have the Knight of Wands here. It can be Sagittarius. I feel like, um, yeah, this is this can be a player, just somebody that likes to go out and have fun. Again, dating, nothing serious kind of energy. So again, we have this energy of coming in hot and heavy and then retreating our energy. So, you know, they become be coming in here, having a good time. And then they leave, and you're sitting here, okay, so what's going on now, you know? Leaving you, you know, in this hangman position, like, wondering what's going on. Are we just dating? Is this going to be something more? Because maybe you feel like it's a strong connection when you're together with them. So it's a Pisces energy. It's just kind of in limbo, not sure, you know, because they come and they go with the Eight of Cups energy. You know, they rush in with the Knight of Swords. That's you, Aquarius. Rush into you. You know, have some fun. They share a little bit of love and passion, and then they're gone again. Quick energy, in and then out. In, out. <laughs> in one door, out the other door. You know, it's like in and out, in and out. Yeah, and I said that. You feel like this Two of Cups energy when you're with them. This is usually soulmate union, but it leaves you in a Two of Wands energy, like at a crossroads. Like, well, which path are they going to take? Are they going to remain single and do what they want? Or do we have a connection here? Are we going to hook up as a couple or, you know, date exclusively. So it kind of leaves you in limbo as to, you know, what's going on here. Are they going to make a decision here? But we do have the Ten of Swords. So I I don't know. I don't know. We do have the Queen of Wands, though. So, I mean, we have a matching couple. So it does have a potential to be a soulmate energy here. But I feel like as soon as they feel the connection is, is getting too strong, they end it. So they're in and then they're out. And when they're feeling okay, well, then they'll come back in for, you know, a little more fun, you know. And then once they feel start to feel that strong connection again, I mean, we do have soulmate twin flame energy here with the lovers. They're kind of gone again. That's kind of what I feel. 
Yeah, they're very conflicted inside with the Five of Wands, a lot of internal conflict, very indecisive, not sure what they want. They're always retreating their energy with uh, Virgo energy here. Yeah, very uh, in and out kind of energy with the Six of Swords, you know, in for the passion and then out. And uh, that's about it. I mean, I think you're hoping to... They're going to share the love with you and choose you, but I think they're just happy kind of being single right now and going off and doing their own thing. I do feel like they feel that special bond and connection with you, but when they are with you and it gets too strong, they kind of run and kind of go off and do other things. So, I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to go into the extended now, uh, Aquarius. If this resonated for you, I definitely like, feel like you're praying that they're going to choose you, come in with that message that they want to share love with you, um, to unite with just you and not date other people. So we're going to go in the extended, and I will pull three new oracle decks, uh, three new oracle cards from these decks on their energy, the future energy, what's going to happen. Are they going to change their ways? Are they going to want to come in and finally, um, you know, commit or exclusively date or whatever it is for you? And then I'll clarify that energy with the sexual magic tarot. So we'll see how they're feeling about you intimately. And then I will pull some messages of love oracle cards and... Um,